Mikibo, Mikibo. Subscribe to this channel and like and share. This is Mikibo, 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 Mikibo. Yes, sir. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, so we are back again. Yes, must you wait for you to be killed before you run out from that marriage? Every day, crisis. Every day, he's beating you up. Every day, he's beating you up. And you're still maintaining love. What kind of love are you maintaining? Until you die. Until you enter six feet, that is when you get out from that fucking marriage. Even some people, I'm very, very sure that this started when they were still courting. The man will beat you today. Tomorrow, you buy gifts for you. Probably the man might even have money. Maybe he's rich. And some are even very poor. And you are there claiming love. He will beat you today. Tomorrow, he will come back to apologize. You say, okay. You are trying to, you are praying to God. One day God will intervene. Let me tell you, let's stop deceiving ourselves. There is a very big difference here. Let's say maybe your, your husband has an attitude, maybe a particular attitude that is not pleasing to you in your marriage. And you are trying to ask God to change this man from this. It's a different ball game. Not in a situation where the man is using you to do punch him back and you are trying to pray god please let this man stop beating me <laughs> until you enter six feet that is when you will come out from that marriage let me tell you the truth no matter how i love a man not to an extent of laying your filthy fingers your filthy hands on my body I don't believe that any man who loves you will beat you. For crying out loud, a man is not supposed to beat a woman. It's totally wrong. Very, very wrong. For a man to lay his hands on a woman. Marriage where a man beats you, your husband beats you. In fact, you're supposed to even find out when you are still cutting. Okay, look at the case of this, this woman. But the, the woman is even lucky. Is the mother, the poor mother-in-law that carried the whole thing. The man was beating her. Luckily for her, the mother-in-law was around. So as she tried to intervene, the whole thing landed on her. She was stabbed. Okay, probably it means that the wife that the knife that was used to stab the mother-in-law. The man wanted to use it on the woman. Eventually, it landed on the mother. So you can see, the initial plan of the man was not even to murder the mother. He wasn't. To, he wasn't. He doesn't want to murder his own mother. It was actually the wife. He wanted to use the knife on. But eventually, the mother came in between and was stabbed to death. So you as a woman, you are married to that man that is beating you, using you to do punching back every now and then. And you are there saying you are praying to God, you are waiting for God's intervention. Mommy, there are things you will do as a person and there are ones God will do. Do your own. There are some cases where practicality is needed. Prayer without work is dead. In as much as you are praying, know when there is danger. Look at the kind of story we are hearing this period. Okay, look at the other woman. The sister said, according to the sister, she said she warned her the last time she came. She came to report that the husband beat her up. The husband beat her up. 
and the sister warned her not to go back to that house and you know women now <laughs> i love my husband oh i cannot do without him i love him so much uh, god is going to intervene i'm praying hard one day god will hear my prayer and this man will stop beating me continue deceiving yourself there are so many things that God will do for you. Not when a man is always beating you. He will beat you today, tomorrow he will apologize and you say you are asking God to intervene. Continue asking God for divine intervention. Very, very important. Until you meet your death. And what the annoying part of it is, okay, look at that woman's case. The man murdered her and took her ATM. In fact, and took uh, with her together with her phone. And the man zoomed off. The picture shows that he was smiling. He wasn't even bothered that he murdered someone. He was smiling and was relocating to somewhere else. He doesn't feel any remorse, if not for anything. It's someone, this is someone's child. You murdered someone and you are so comfortable, smiling and zooming off, even with her ATM. Funny enough, the woman is the breadwinner of the house. It wasn't even the man that is providing. I wonder what she's looking for in that marriage. I don't even know what she's been doing in that marriage. She's the one providing. Now she goes suffer, bring her the money, cook for the same man. The man will still come and have sex with her. All the whole enjoyment that the man they do him, and the woman is suffering. At the end of the day, he will still beat you, John. And you are there saying you are waiting for marriage. Continue waiting for it. Until the day she look at it now. The man has murdered her in a cold blood. Before you know what is happening, you will marry another wife. Please, women, let's wisen up. Marriage is not by force. It's not a do or die affair. If you get into any marriage and it doesn't favor you, especially when the man is beating you up, please and please, leave that marriage before it gets to the extent that you can no longer move away with your two legs. It is better, prevention is better than cure. It is better you move away. Probably if God has destined that you will get married again, God will give you a better man that will know your value. Any man that beats a woman is not worthy to be called a husband. Quote me right. I know that so many men will not like what I'm saying, but I don't give a damn. If you are out there and you are a man, you are a, you are beating a woman up. Maybe the woman, whether the woman is married to you or not, and you are beating a woman up. Get your fellow man. Why beating up a woman? You are not worthy to be called a husband. And you, my fellow women, you are in a marriage and a man is beating you. First attempt, leave that marriage. Any man that is beating you up in any marriage is not worthy to be called a husband. You better leave that marriage safe and alive before they will carry your corpse out of that marriage. Please and please, let's wisen up. So that all this nonsense today, the man murdered the wife, this one. Even there was another case that I saw. That was trending on the internet the woman stabbed this one was the case of a woman stabbing the husband yes you know why this things is it works vice versa it could be either that the woman stabbed the man to death or the man beat the woman to death two things are involved that is why any mar marriage where the woman and the man is always having quarreling issue to an extent of fighting, exchanging blows, 
it's better you leave that marriage. It could either be that the woman killed the man out of self-defense and ended up in prison. This woman's case is that the husband married another wife. So what the woman, the man used to do is he spent two, two nights with them. So anytime he's done with the other person, he will go to the woman's, no, the, when it will be turn, the other person's turn, he will eventually, he will enter the woman's room and they say goodbye. It is this person's turn. So that's the day, that very day. He did as usual. He went to the other woman. He has spent two nights with the woman. So the other day was for the second wife. Already two of them has been having issues. This one said, um, the first wife said the, um, the man must divorce the second wife. So this issue has been, they've been having misunderstanding based on this. So eventually that night, the man came as usual to tell the woman goodbye. That it is this where the second wife's um, son. As he was moving out, the woman stabbed him. That was the end. And the man died. Definitely, she will be jailed because she has committed murder. It would have been better if she had walked away from the marriage. You, you told him to divorce the second wife. He refused. What you could have done is to do what? If you are not comfortable with it, you move out of the marriage. It is better to walk away than to waste away. She could have wasted then walked away and God will make another way for her. Then men should be careful too. In fact, I'm basically talking to uh, my fellow women out there. Please, let's, let's be careful. Mind the kind of man you are getting married to. And you as a man, you are getting married to a woman. Discuss with her. Let, let it be an agreement. Please, oh, after this, I'm going to get married to another woman. If she agree, then after that, you know that it's an agreement. Not after telling her, oh, baby, I love you. I cannot do without you. You are this. You are the sugar in my tea. You are the one and only. You are one in billion. And at the end of the day, tomorrow, you tell her that you are bringing another wife. So we even do it without her consent. Please, let's be mindful. If you know what someone will do to you, you will not like it. Don't do it to another person. Probably that woman, now if you as a man, if you learnt that your wife is seeing another man out there, now divorce be that because it's always, whenever it comes to women's side, the case is always different. Please, 